Hi everyone, it's Cheryl the CraftNet32 and tonight I'm here to share with you a Christmas card. I created it for the blog hop at Paper Tree Inc. last week. The um, Capture the Moment, I believe is the name of their blog. And they had some really pretty pictures posted um, to kind of inspire you to create a card. And this is the card that I created with that lovely inspiration. I created it using the Paper Tray Ink stamp set O Tannenbaum. Really pretty stamp set. I got this back in October and I have loved it. I've used it several times. I have a couple more cards that I've made with it. I'm going to try to get some videos done this week and post them also. So this isn't showing very well, but this is the stamp I used for the background trees. And this is the stamp I used for the sparkly tree in the middle. And what's really cool about the stamp set is that it's a layering image. So all of these different images are different stamps. And it's really cool. You can kind of build them up. Um, I did different textures for this, and it was really, really fun. I love the stamp set. Um, so what I did is I stamped these trees first using some Simon Says Stamp ink. I used the dark chocolate and the khaki for the background trees. For the main tree itself, I used some color box, oops, color box frost white. And then while it was still wet, it's a pigment ink, I used some embossing powder and this is called Stardust. And it's sparkly, it kinda, when it heats up, it, it's translucent, but it adds a really nice layer of sparkle. So you need to have that color behind it. So I love it with the white, um, just love it. So the inside, the little dots inside the tree, I used some Hero Arts Midtone ink in the color of navy. And then for this kind of really cool hue around the outside of the tree and for the star, I used some color box ink again. And this one was Quicksilver. While it was wet, I grabbed my embossing powder, silver, and I just put it over top of that ink and heated it up. And it has a really nice kind of shine to it next to the sparkle. I wanted some lots of texture. It's going to primarily be a one layer card, so I wanted something that would catch your eye, especially with doing it on craft card stock. So for all of this fun snow, I used a Lawn Fawn stamp set. And I use this image right here. I love this stamp set. And I mainly got it for the snow. I love the falling snow. And again, I stamped that with my Colorbox Frost White ink. Then I wanted some dimension with the snow. So I also, in my October purchase from Paper Tray Ink, got a snow globe shaker die for a card. And in the center was this die for the confetti. So I cut it out using just some plain white cardstock um, and then all the little dots also so I layered the dots amongst the falling snow because I just thought it was perfect it was relatively the same size and then with these big snowflakes I added some jewels in the center because it needed more glitter <laughs> there we go but it's just perfect I love the paper amongst the stamp um, looks great in my opinion so the sentiment came from the stamp set, um, the O Tannenbaum stamp set, and then on the inside I left a blank, but I have two more little snowflakes, so it's not completely blank, but anyways, you know what I mean. So that was my card. It's been on my blog since last week, and I really wanted to share it here also. So I finally was, got able, I finally had a chance to do so. Um... I hope everyone's having a great night. It is snowing here, so my outside will soon look like this card. And I'm kind of excited. I hope the snow sticks. I love when we have snow for Christmas. So, anyways, I hope you're having a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye.